Good morning. Good morning, Angel. Good morning. <laughs> From Tampa. Thank you for the kisses. I am so happy I landed in Tampa yesterday and I honestly forgot to vlog the arrival. I did get a little video clip of Finley like seeing me. No matter if it's been two days or two months, this boy is just so happy to see me and I am equally as happy. So I'm home for Thanksgiving, kinda. I'm here till Wednesday. I literally just woke up and turned on the vlog camera. Oh, he is so perfect. I can't. I wish you guys could feel him. He's so soft. Anyways, welcome back. A week-ish in my life in Tampa. I'm here till Wednesday. And then Wednesday I say goodbye. And I'm going to Maine to do Thanksgiving with my boyfriend's family. I woke up and I haven't even gone out of my room yet. And I just put on my workout outfit. I feel like I need to get some energy flowing this morning. I'm just feeling like it's not anxiety. Like I have nothing to do today. It's because it's Saturday. <laughs> it's just like I think I'm excited to be home. And it's been a really busy few weeks. So I feel like I'm on the come down from that. And oh my god being so cute so i think i just need to like go for a walk you know and just kind of and it's a lot warmer here yeah the dogs play today we're putting up the christmas tree it's gonna be a good day welcome back it's a beautiful day out apparently today's gonna be the warmest day which is like 72 degrees my angel baby cake we're not gonna go for a walk yet i decided i came in the living room and i started blasting michael Bublé christmas because we're putting up the christmas tree today mom say hi to the vlog i was like i want to Oh yes, you got your red leggings on, I love it. Go Georgia! Go Georgia, go dogs. Um, that is good for Santa, Christmas. Yes, Chris, yeah, it's a double whammy, being a dogs fan. You're seasonal. You want a bagel or toast for your? Neither, I just want to make some bacon oh, okay. and like avocado and egg, but we'll start with the bacon. Okay. Wow! Bacon just equals home. Like I don't really make bacon a lot at, at school in New York. So, oh, that pan looks, is this the scan pan? Yes, but it's the bigger one. It's the bigger one, I need this. It's the baby one. And the baby, this is the egg pan you guys see every day. And then I also love the always pan, but the scan pan is amazing for like breakfast for some reason. <laughs> guys, look at the way Finley stands. You never know what direction he's gonna go in. He's in first position. He's in first position. Yes. I am seriously in my Meredith Blake era. and I'm not mad about it. I'm gonna go for a coffee walk. I'm gonna walk to my dad's house. He has my car. Um, <clears throat> and, hmm, what mug do I wanna use? I'm, I used to do this a lot, like last summer, I'd literally go for walks in the summer with my hot coffee and listening to a podcast or music and it put me in the best mood. I feel like I should do like a big mug I can hold. I think this is good. It says she believes she could, so she did. I just made myself some decaf coffee. I've been doing like half and half. Like if I go to Starbucks, I'll do like, oh, guys, don't stare at me like that. So cute. Um, you can do like half caffeinated, half decaf, which is a great option. Um, but today we're just doing it decaf. I'm gonna go for a nice little walk to my dad's house. And I don't really know what we're doing from there, but the dogs game is on at 3.30. Life hack, as always, we put half and half in before the coffee. So then you don't have to get a spoon to mix it. Oh, baby. That looks good. I think I wanna go to the juice spot today, get like a ginger shot and see my favorite people that work at the juicery. Um, <clears throat> and just kind of see the day takes us. We brought up the Christmas tree. We use a fake Christmas tree Because um, it's just easier, you know, and we love it Well, oh, you added the Georgia hat. I did. Go dogs. I love it. Go dogs. I just did the um, TikTok prank on my mom. Go follow me on TikTok at Danielle underscore Carolyn and I have a giveaway going on on TikTok too for a Dyson Airwrap if you comment on the, f the video I have pinned on TikTok of me and Ryan putting the Christmas tree up like putting up the ornaments um, and comment your favorite thing about the holidays, you'll be entered to win a Dyson Air app um, and it'll end December 12th. So, but anyways, I did the TikTok with my mom where there's like an eyes closed filter. So it looks like my eyes were closed, but they were fully open and I had her stand behind me and show like a number and I'd be like, 
four. Like just, <laughs> and she wasn't shocked at all because she was like, we're just so connected. And then at the end I told her. So go watch it if you guys want. But what else are my hot girl walk, coffee walk essentials? I haven't even been outside today. I'm excited. Finley is just vibing. My mom and him are about to go for a long walk, but I want to do like a solo walk, you know? But Finley slept in my room last night. Okay. And he just like follows me. It's so cute. My last dog, Miley, was literally the best. But Finley's definitely more obsessed with me. Like, I miss her so much, and I wish they could be buddies. But it is cute how Finley, like, follows me around everywhere. Um, welcome to my childhood bedroom. Does anyone else just, like, rip their tags off? I, like, rip the string. Like, I don't rip it off the clothing, because I don't want to break it. My new jacket from Zara, if you watched my last vlog. I love a cropped jacket, because you still stay warm, but then it, like, shows off your figure. You know? Put my wallet. Guys, one thing... Isn't it so interesting how some things, like, I, like, love buying clothes and buying new things, but for some reason, for, like, wallets, I just, like, have the same wallet for a long time because it lasts for so long, obviously. But, um, this one's a Fendi wallet, and I love it so much. It has, like, a zipper pouch, and then on the other side, it has my my cards, like, you know, like, like little slots here. Um, but they have been falling out. Like, the cards have been falling out lately. When I, cause I, you know, when I'm doing the keys in my apartment and like there's like threads everywhere. Ooh, that's actually really not good. That, that thread just came out of the wallet. Oh, that's coming from my jacket. Oh, Zara. Um, anyways, I like having a wallet that you can connect your keys to and like zip up and I like the card slot. So if you guys have any like designer wallet racks or just wallet racks in general, I think I want to get myself a new one. But putting this in here. And then I'll bring my cup of coffee and I'll get my car and we'll go for a drive maybe. But it should be like a good 20 minute walk, 15 minute walk, I don't really know. I put on, I already brushed my teeth, but I'm gonna put on a little glow screen. This is the, uh, oh my God. It, it, it thankfully didn't explode all over my bag, but it definitely exploded within the cap. This one's the golden hour one, so it adds definitely a tint. I try to remember to put on sunscreen when I can on my face. And I just like the look it gives. It's like a nice growy, dewy look. Coffee outfit check. I'm going for a coffee walk. Hot girl coffee walk. Yeah, I still say hot girl walk. Brooke doesn't like to say it. I think it's fun, you know? Just gotta romanticize your life, right? dad now he's having his little snack what are you eating everyone loves your nutrition advice cucumbers and hummus cucumbers and hummus and then tell us about i might actually need to eat one now that does look yummy will you eat first but this is he was telling me oh sorry i just That's touched my it my double chocolate um black bean black bean muffin bean right muffin. that's um, yummy it's made with almond flour um it's made with erythritol and monk fruit so no sugar it's made with only dark which made with like dark chocolate chips the you know the high cacao the high cocoa is this the same one you made for me last time because they're really good yeah it's, it's made with all good ingredients i guess that's the point and you've got your um, ember mug to keep your coffee hot um, love and it instead of putting cream in now i put in um almond milk with oh, oh no oat milk because oat milk is thicker. Mm. And um, instead of putting um, butter and cream, I just put in oat milk and eggs. And wow, eggs really and yours. make those muffins. And they're so good, guys, I can vouch. Also, peep your athletic greens over there. Yeah. Health king. Love it. My car. We're selling it at the end of this year. I'm really sad, but it 100% makes sense but I'm gonna drive it as long as I can while I'm here. Ah, I'm so excited. I came to the causeway, drove my car a little bit, which felt really nice. And now I'm walking along the water because apparently today is the warmest day. Oh, it just feels so good to like thaw out from the New York cold. 
I'm so thankful that this is where I come home to. I mean, this is magical. Decided to come sit in my trunk, get in the fresh air. I wish I brought my book. This would be a vibe for sure. I can't lie, I'm feeling kind of restless at home because I got home, my parents were like, wait, so what do you want to do? Where do you want to, who do you want to see? And because normally when I would come back from college, I wanted to go to Oxford Exchange, I want to go to National Mall, I want to do all these Tampa things. And I still do, but I just like, I'm only here till Wednesday. And I get to do so many cool things in New York, which I'm so thankful for. So when I'm home now, I'm like, I want to be with the fam. I want to be with Finley. I want to like just relax and like, like restart my system basically. And, but then everyone's like, oh, like, do you want to see your high school friends? And I just like, don't know what I want to do. So I'm taking it hour by hour. Um, and it's really relaxing. Okay. We've made some decisions. I'm at Publix, which is my favorite grocery store ever. I wish we had one in New York so bad. I'm gonna get ingredients to make spinach artichoke dip. I'm so excited, I really love it. It's a good like watching football dip and I'm in the mood to like cook something and do something. So I just looked up the recipe and I'm really disappointed to find out that there's mayonnaise and cream cheese in it, which makes sense. I eat things that have those things in them, but like I would never get a sandwich with mayonnaise on it. It grosses me out. I would never get a bagel with cream cheese on it, but I do eat some foods that have it in there. So yeah, it'll be very humbling to make it because I like get so grossed out, but it'll be so fun. I'm going to get some like chips and crudite, like vegetables to dip into the dip. And then we're going to watch the dogs play in an hour and a half. Yay. Ugh, but I really want a pub sub right now. This is the best hummus in the entire world, and I'm so happy they have it here. Got the goods. I found a recipe from the New York Times that doesn't use mayo, so that was a win. All right, let's go home. Okay, guys, here's the little haul I got. So the recipe calls for spinach, parmesan, mozzarella. I got some chips to dip into it. I got cucumbers to dip into it as well. Artichoke hearts sour cream and cream cheese and of course I forgot to buy the cream cheese because I hate cream cheese but we have some in the fridge I think that'll suffice um, and then I bought cantaloupe because I love cantaloupe and and it also cards for garlic um, and I bought my favorite hummus ever and I want my dad to try it because it's so good and I couldn't help myself uh, Publix popcorn chicken is literally iconic it's so good and these like yeah oh and I got some polar seltzers because these are actually really carbonated the more carbonated the more I like it they didn't have Topo Chico that's what I really wanted I'm cooking my dad's starting to put up the tree get hype <laughs> chopping up spinach right now and at home, I have like a vegetable chopper, so I put everything in and it chops, but I can't seem to find that in this household. And I'm sure you guys are screaming at the camera like there's an easier way to chop spinach, but I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Oh, I'm totally doing it wrong. Show, showing me how it's done. That makes way more sense. So it's just like a little messy, but wow. <laughs> okay. I'm getting the ick from the cream cheese I just put in here, but I'm just, it's cheese. It's creamed cheese. I like cheese, so I just have to tell myself that. Oh, the camera is fogging up. Time for the Georgia game. Go dogs! Woo, go dogs! I put the spinach artichoke chip in the oven for like six minutes to like brown the top off. I bought on Amazon some more Isle of Paradise because I've been really liking this. I like the color it gives me. It's really easy to use and it's clear when you put it on. So, <laughs> she thought I was, I was talking to the vlog and you're like, mm -hmm. but I'm talking to you too. She goes, I heard you guys talking about it on the podcast. Yeah, it's good. Um, so I bought some to have here because I'll be here for the holidays and stuff and I don't know, it'd be good to reapply. The tree is up, we just have to decorate it now, but the dogs are on, so there's a pause. Ah! 
we added a little parmesan on the top and broiled it. I'm so excited. Hopefully it's good. I've never made it before. I got the chips. <gasps> oh, yeah, they said like wait two minutes to mm -hmm. let it kind of ferment in. Oh my gosh, we did it. That's beautiful. Okay, we're gonna try the dip. I really hope it's good. I don't want it to burn my tongue because every time you burn your tongue, it's burnt for like three days and it's so annoying. I'm hot. Oh, it's so good though. Good. It's delicious. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Would make this again. Catch me at the Super Bowl with the spinach artichoke dip. I'll link the recipe below. It's the New York Times one though. Got the full spread here. Some popcorn chicken, some cantaloupe, Finley. You just ate your dinner. You just ate. I got my George, so we're all Georgia'd out today. I love it. Such a kind human. She's going to bring ornaments to the thrift store so they can decorate their tree. Go girl. I'll be back, she'll be back. We're gonna go toss the football during halftime. Come on Finley, don't do that. Just feels appropriate. You know me, I love to throw a football. Come on Finley, let's go, let's go. Finley's like, I'm playing football too. Just finished watching a movie. I think it was called People We Hate at the Wedding. It was funny. Finley just got into bed with me. We'll see how long it lasts. He usually, like, if I move my feet, he freaks out. He's like, wait, how is that moving? And then he, like, gets off. But I would love if he slept with me in bed. So we'll see. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Julie Kavner, who would become his wife. Good morning, you guys. It's Sunday morning and it's pouring down rain right now. Cozy vibes. The tree looks so magical. Finley's right here, snuggled up. I've been watching SNL all morning with my fam, like old SNL skits. Um, I don't know, it was just something fun to do. And then my dad brought over me a smoothie because um, he also drinks the Super Gut smoothie that I've showed you guys before. But he made it for me and added kale, blueberries, and flax because um, he wanted me to try it. And actually, it didn't taste bad. It tasted pretty similar to when it's just like the chocolate super gut smoothie. So, love that. But I'm really excited because I get to see Brooke today, which is fun. Seeing Brooke in a different state. Like, we're just meeting up. And then um, we're recording the podcast. So we're recording Gals on the Go live, not live, but in Tampa. Um, and we're recording with Sydney Adams. And if you guys don't know who she is, go follow her right now. She is so amazing. I started following her this year and I'm obsessed with her. She lives in Tampa, so I love seeing like other Tampa influencers, obviously. But I don't even know how to describe her. She does everything. She's like a lifestyle TikToker, vlogger, Instagrammer. She does all of the things. Um, but she also will show her workouts sometimes. She shows all of her workout outfits and she makes such delicious meals. And I just love her outfits in general and her like home decor everything like I just I love her 
and uh, she listens to Gals on the Go, and so we were like, oh my gosh, it'd be so fun, because Brooke um, is in Orlando, and I'm in Tampa. We can meet up and do a podcast with Sydney, and she was so down and so excited. She texted us and was like, I feel like it's Christmas Eve. I'm so excited. So it made me happy that she was excited to be on the podcast. Um, so we're actually recording at her apartment, which I'm low-key really excited about because I've seen it you know, in all of her vlogs and everything. So, and I know a lot of you guys watch Sydney as well, so I think it's gonna be a perfect collab. Some of you guys were speculating in the comments on the Gals on the Go Instagram, like, I'm calling Sydney Adams to the stand. I bet she's gonna be on the podcast when the girls are in Florida. And I was like, you guys are right. So, yeah, my um, mom just went to an engagement party. My dad's Christmas shopping. So, I'm gonna start getting ready to record the podcast. It's like, I had an outfit, but like raining I don't know if that outfits the vibe so but I think after depending on like what time we end I just simply must stroll over to the International Plaza which is my favorite mall in the entire world it brings me so much joy even if I don't buy anything parking upstairs Nordstrom walking around eating at Bazile oh, it just hits so I'm gonna Brooke has to head back because she's like going to Orlando and they're like going to Disney tomorrow but I'm gonna tell Sydney about it if she wants to come because I just want to go for like an hour or so and walk around and I'm just so excited. So that's that. We're going to start getting ready. Finley is just being, Finley literally blends in over here. It's so funny. Like it's hilarious, but I need to shower. I haven't showered since I've been here, which isn't that crazy. I got here two days ago, but like <laughs> kind of crazy. Uh, so I'm going to shower. I'm not going to wash my hair. My blowout from the dry bar is still rocking. Um, I posted a video this morning, which always makes me happy. I gotta slightly make my bed here. I need to figure out what I'm wearing. Brooke said she's just gonna wear, like, Gals on the Go merch or something because she didn't pack for the proper weather. This candle is lasting me so long. I think I got it at Home Goods a while back. It's rosewood and vanilla. It smells so good. So I'm gonna get that going while I'm in the shower so I get back and it smells so good in here. I literally walked Finley in our neighborhood like this this morning before it started raining and I met like so many new neighbors that we have and I was like what a great, got my PJ pants on, these Uggs, <laughs> really funny. Anyways, I'm procrastinating showering so I'm just like not in the mood to shower. But I self tanned last night just on my face. I used the Isle of Paradise drops. Let me make you just look so glowy. I'll link them below. I also just like don't... The thing with packing is all of your stuff is just, I did a packing cube of all of my like basics and then workout stuff in there and then these are, Jack, this is all for Maine, if you can't tell. I mean, this is like, so I don't dress up a lot when I'm home, but I don't even know what's in here and I don't want to like ruin it all. Anyways, let's go shower, get ready for the day. I'm so excited uh, and I'm excited to like drive my car and jam to like SoundCloud remixes like I always do when I'm home. Okay, I didn't buckle this all the way, but this with, like, black boots is such a vibe. But I don't want to be that girl because Brooke said she's just wearing, like, a sweatshirt and jeans. And that's pretty savage if I, like, rolled up, you know, <laughs> in this moment. Because what I really would want to do and what I think would look super cute, this belt and this boot, like, tucked in. I don't want I don't have socks on. But, like, that is such a moment. But that's like a lot, especially because Sydney dresses more like casual, cute, and I love her style. This is like a lot to, and like walk around International Mall, like this is just a lot. But I just got myself some outfit inspo for New York, or maybe when I'm in Maine, who knows. Thanks for following along. Okay, I ended up on this, I think. I'm going to see while I'm getting ready if I like this. But this top I just got from Zara. I wear a size medium. They have them all over the store. They're just like these basic long sleeves. I have them in so many different colors. These pants I just got there in my last vlog as well. The haul, the winter clothes haul in the vlog. These are the Aritzia Molina pants, but I love this color. It's very sharp. So, and then probably just sneakers. I do have like black booties, which would definitely elevate the outfit. Anyways, I'm going to get ready and then, oh, I still have the tag on. <gasps> and then I'll see, but let's go get ready. Okay, so I'm not going to film my whole makeup routine because you guys have seen it a thousand times and it's pretty similar right now, but I was influenced by Kelly, by other makeup artists, by TikToks, targeted ads. I'm trying, it's very expensive, but I'm trying the Augustinus Bader Rich Cream. Apparently, it is really moisturizing and then your makeup just applies really well on it. Okay. Ugh. 
this is like thick. I'm not loving how it's applying. I feel like I'm like tearing my skin off. Like it's not gliding really well. Hmm. I mean, I've only heard amazing things about this. Do any of you guys use it? Am I using it wrong or something? <laughs> well, I mean, my skin does look very moisturized. It was just like not an enjoyable application, you know? Um, okay, well, let's see how, well, I've also been using the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Brightening Eye Cream. It literally like has a little glow to it. Kind of reminds me of glow screen, but in an eye cream. It definitely does brighten up your other eyes. Also, I don't know why my mom decided to paint this bathroom this color. <laughs> it was when I was a lot younger and I, I was making YouTube videos, but I didn't care about lighting as much. And it is, it is a whole rosy tone in here. I mean, no, it's really pretty, obviously, but for the videos, it always makes it look very pinky when I record in here. <laughs> also, I'm fully sitting with my pants unzipped, if you guys see. I just do that when I do my makeup on my pants on because I just don't want to be constricted while I don't have to. Um, what are we doing? Oh. We're going to conceal first. I have Thomas Rhett stuck in my head. I'm in like my country music era right now. Like Ryan is who, I mean, I listened to country music before I met Ryan, but he really got me into it because he listened to it all the time. And now I think I listen to it more than him because he only really listens to music when he's driving and we don't drive in New York City. The only music he listens to is when he's working out and like he doesn't listen to country music when he works out. He listens to like rap caviar on Spotify or whatever. So I think I know more new country music than him, which is really sad. I'm like, you gotta find, like I just like always have music on. Like it's just a thing. Like I'm always listening to music if I, or a podcast, but you know, I'm driving, I'm walking, like I'll listen to country music to put myself in a good mood. And I used to only listen to country music in the summer, but I don't know, going to Nashville and everything, elevate, I don't know. But I have Half of Me by Thomas Brett stuck in my head right now. Okay, for foundation, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation is also expensive, but so worth it. I'm gonna mix my darker and lighter shade together. Okay, my, my, my foundation really did apply very nicely, I will say. But the application of that lotion was just not enjoyable at all. So, I don't know. Updates to come. Here I am just doing my makeup. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys the rich cream and here I just keep going. I'm just so excited for this podcast recording today. Brooke and I don't have guests on a lot because it's already the two of us. And we only want to have guests on that, you know, we're either friends with or we think you guys would really benefit from. Um, I, that being said, I love listening to other podcasts that have guests on. But since we're already two people, we love it just being the two of us. And we think that's why you guys listen to us. But someone like Sydney, who we know people love, we love. We have a lot of same, like, I feel like we're very similar vibes. We like to have someone like that on the podcast and chat with her and giggle and you know, and she listens to the podcast, which makes us really happy. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling and just keep getting ready. I'll check with you guys after. Okay, I completely changed my outfit. Well, I kept the same pants, but I changed to a white shirt and then this jacket from Helsa off of Revolve. It's also a Zara shirt from like the long sleeve. It's just a different color. And then I'm wearing my Air Forces. I just like this cream look. The white is like with the off-white, but I kind of just don't care. Maybe I'll just wear the jacket for the recording. I just feel better in this. So yeah, thank you all for coming along that journey with me as I figured out what to wear. Um, so yeah, we're going to head out. I'm going to stop at Starbucks because got to love just like a suburban Starbucks run. I'm going to get, um, I don't know what I'm going to get. We'll see what I get, and then I'm going to head on over. I'm excited. Got my SoundCloud on. This song hits so different. I'm in the Starbucks drive through line. Couldn't be happier. I was gonna do a mobile order and then I was like, why wouldn't I have the full experience and go through the drive through and it's raining. So the line's a little bit longer, but Brooke said she's running a little late because the Starbucks in Orlando had a, <laughs> had a long line, so. And then Sydney texted us, she was like, I know you're already going to Starbucks, Brooke, do you, either of you guys want anything? And I was like, I'm already about to leave for Starbucks, no worries. So we're all on the same 
Why? My hair is like really flat and I don't like it. Anyways, I think I'm gonna get a bacon gouda sandwich. Cause I had that smoothie this morning but I'm hungry again. It's 12.30 now, it's like lunchtime. So I think I'm gonna get that and then probably like a decaf Americano hot. Or I could get a decaf iced latte. Or I could do half calf, half decaf. I have a lot of options. I have a lot of time to think though, so we're good. We made it almost, almost there. <laughs> Yay. Me, ready for my time to shine. I really hope this doesn't make me late. I'm getting nervous. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. We'll keep it started for you. Hi, can I please have a bacon gouda sandwich and a um, grande decaf americano with half and half? Yeah, would that be it? That's it. Thank you so much. Alright, so it was 1144. Can I get a name for you order? Danielle. It happened. I haven't done that in so long. He was like, you can pull forward, but I can't pull forward. Oh my gosh, you guys. I ended up going with the decaf Americano. She looks beautiful. here and I'm we're just playing as a Florida resident <laughs> <laughs> we're literally dying over this kitchen Brooke was like this is just this is for you <laughs> like this is so cool it's like so one hotel it's just uh, like maybe I... she doesn't have my toaster I thought we had the same toaster I'll have to talk to her about that <laughs> sitting in the bathroom but guys it's just such a vibe in oh, here you like a drink? oh yeah. <laughs> God's playing as Sydney Adams <laughs> We just finished the episode, Sydney. Thank you so much again. Oh, it was so fun. And that was so good. It was such a good episode, you guys. When it's out, you must go listen. We got lots of great tips. Yes, love. I love it. Yay. When I tell you guys, I just inhaled Fresh Kitchen. That was so good. I've been craving Fresh Kitchen for months. The last few times I've been to Tampa, I haven't come here. Oh, that is just so good. Those sweet potato noodles with the cauliflower mash hit different. Like, I wish we had this in New York so bad. Recording with Cindy went so well. We were there for hours. Like, we could have kept talking, but she had a workout class. Brooke had to drive back to Orlando, and I <laughs> I didn't have to do anything, but I was like, we need to wrap this up. Um, so it was literally so much fun. Cindy is the exact same person in, in or yeah, exact same person in person, <clears throat> which I completely figured. Loved hearing her story and, like, how she got started. I didn't know everything about her. Um, and we just had so much fun. We just sat on a couch and chatted and it was really surreal like having Brooke and Tampa It was just so funny and like Brooke and I left at the same time we were driving our cars. So I was like, hey, so fun So Brooke's off. I came to Fresh Kitchen because we were talking about it on the podcast And I was like, that's it. I'm getting it for lunch after this and now I'm gonna stop by International Plaza I am not planning to leave with anything. Maybe something at Sephora if I get there because my foundation's running out but other than that, I just want to like walk around the Nordstrom a little bit and just get my feel, you know, park upstairs Nordstrom and just get my feel. Cause I'm already over here and like by the mall. So I was like, let's just do it. Um, but my brother and his girlfriend are driving down right now from Furman and I think they're going to be home in a couple hours. So I definitely want to get back to like hang with them, but yeah, let's go. Here we go. I'm just vibing way too hard right now in this city and it's like a rainy day too. I'm just vibing. Like I just belong here again one day. Like I love New York so much. Like will live there for a minute, but I'm just so happy when I'm home too. But I appreciate it more now because I don't live here, if that makes sense. All right, we are upstairs Nordstrom. And if you don't know, there's nothing really to it other than I just think there's always parking spots up here and I love entering upstairs Nordstrom. And I just like this roof. You just see all the palm trees. I don't know. There's really no reason other than whatever. I'm gonna go stroll for a little bit, really not too long, under an hour. Maybe I'll get some Christmas gifts. Um, Cause I started writing down a list of like, as my family have said things throughout the year, I'm like, ooh, that would be good, whatever. So maybe while I'm here, I'll get a couple Christmas gifts and just keep them here at home. Because this year I'm coming back a little bit later because of our second Gals on the Go Live show. So I won't have as much time to Christmas shop. And I do enjoy Christmas shopping in person when I can. So maybe I'll get a couple gifts, but I'm really not trying to go home with anything. Okay, let's go. The Holy Land. I just love this whole walkway. This is just such a great mall. Highly suggest coming to International Plaza. 
Ugh, I do need these for Christmas. The mall was indeed crowded, but I got my fill. I honestly just walked through Nordstrom because the other stores, like I just recently went to Zara and stuff like that. I just love Nordstrom, especially the Tampa Nordstrom. And I met a sweet subscriber, Amina. Shout out. She was like, I'm literally 41. I love all of your videos. She was like, come here. She worked at Nordstrom. She was like, let me get you some samples for your egg flipper. We're talking about Ryan. Because she was in the men's grooming department. And she gave me some fun samples. Maybe I'll give it to my dad too. This is the Jack Black Glycolic Facial Cleanser. And then she, they have Lalabo at Nordstrom now. And she gave me a ton of Lalabo samples, which is so perfect for traveling. This is like the perfume I'm wearing today. Ten noir. It was very, very, very kind of her. Like she knew so much about me. She was so like sweet and supportive, and she's like, "You look so good. Like I love your apartment. Like she just made my life." So thank you, Amina, for making my day. I will definitely come say hi to you again when I'm back at Nordstrom. I did try to buy one of the things I want to get for my mom, but they didn't have it. I thought they would at Nordstrom. I'm not gonna say what it is in case my mom's watching this video, but. My dad just told me my brother's almost home, so I'm getting home quicker than I thought. So I'm just going to head home now, um, but I got my fill in. I got to go to Fresh Kitchen. I'm a happy, happy camper. I'm getting so many DMs from you guys about the crossover of me, Brooke, and Sydney, which always makes me happy. So anyways, let's go for a drive. I'm actually listening to my Spotify 2021 playlist, like Roundup or whatever it's called. Like all my top songs of 2021. I'm listening to that because I know... Very shortly, in the next month or so, we're gonna be getting our 2022 roundup playlist. And I just, I love listening to the playlist and being like, oh, this was me during this time of my life. And I just, I link music and sense to things in my life. And oh, vibes. All right, see you guys. Back now, just been chilling out, hanging with everybody. Here's my little fit for the night. We're having shepherd's pie for dinner. Very excited. This, the bar sweatshirt, is everything. My pajama pants are from Lunia, and then these slippers are from Amazon. I've had them for a while. I'd leave them here in Tampa, but love. Monday morning and I'm bundled up in OG podcast merch. My mom started laughing because she had already been outside and it's literally not even cold anymore. It was this morning though. Here with Finley. Hey Finn. Hey. 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 It's a gorgeous stunning day out. Hoping hoping to get on the boat. Probably won't be in a bathing suit because it's not, it's kind of windy, you know, once you're on the boat and it's not as warm. But I'm really thankful. I just poured myself a cup of coffee and hanging out with Finley and I have some computer work to get done. So I think I'm going to do it out here, fill out my Doing Well Daily Planner. Also, if you guys bought my last Doing Well Daily Planner and you're like wanting a new one, you're wanting like a post-grad vibe, or if you're still in college, it applies. Just be on the lookout. Big things coming in the next like week or two. Okay. Got all my work done, for now. Put on a bathing suit. I just showered just to like refresh myself. But, and I am wearing an OG Gals in the Go Don't Text towel. We're gonna go lay out, just get some vitamin D. Like I don't think I'm gonna get any color from it, but I just wanna like be outside and feel the nature. <laughs> We're about to go for a boat ride. I'm gonna take a quick ginger shot before we go. Got some fresh ginger shot from our favorite juicery. Little I Love Nashville shot glass. Cheers. Oh. Ah! That feels great. Whew. All right, here is the fit for the boat. Top is, oh my God, I don't remember. <laughs> That's helpful, revolve. Jeans are my baggy 90s jeans from Good American. Sunglasses are Ray-Bans. Pulled my hair up. Brought a denim jacket in case it gets cold once the boat starts. But right now it's pretty warm. 
You're on a little, I guess it's kind of like a golden hour boat ride. I'm not mad about it. Finley always does this thing. You, like he wants to go in the boat, but like he just surrenders. I'm like, you know we're going in the boat and you know you want to come. Oh baby. Here's your good boy. Come on, let's go, come on. Come on. Come on. candy skies out um, my hair is very windblown it was so nice to be outside I'm like so relaxed right now I'm gonna take a shower get all cozied up tonight for dinner is clean the fridge night so I think I'm gonna make myself a PB and dry because I had some of the chicken parm left over for lunch um, but yeah I'm gonna shower change and chill tomorrow's my last day at home and then wednesday i fly to maine so as you guys are watching this i'm en route to maine i'm gonna end the vlog here make sure to go enter my giveaway my dyson air wrap giveaway by following me on tiktok at danielle underscore carolyn and commenting on the tiktok i've pinned of me and ryan putting up decorations on the christmas tree and comment your favorite thing about the holidays and that giveaway ends december 12th so you still have time to enter. It's just a little way of saying thank you. And if you don't have a TikTok, I will be doing more giveaways, of course. But yeah, I'm ending this vlog so I can get this vlog up a fast turnaround so you guys can see the uh, video in time so I don't miss an upload day. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!